Hey, Shalom. Shalom. First of all, we'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who are starters this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who preach this truth and do what they like to do so. Uh, basically, it's going to be a quick video on the end times that's coming, man. And uh, we always do, we always get into martial law and missiles and things of that nature. And the reason why is because it's all about prophecy. These are the things that are to come, man. You know, like the chip and things of that nature. You know, but really what's coming up now and Lord willing, it comes faster, man, because I know brothers already get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, is, you know, Jacob's trouble, martial law, all that, man. Uh, uh, just, you know, so you people could be judged, man. And, you know, two thirds of you nations, you know, two thirds of, two -thirds of you Israelites, um, you heathens, you know, we want you, we want y'all to be judged ultimately. So A, we get out of here and B, we can get our kingdom, man where we don't have to worry about the things that we have to worry about on this side, whether it be money, whether it be a woman, whether it be, you know, your job, you know, whether it be family members, you know, whether it be worldly things, I don't know, you know, just to, you know, you don't want to be in a state of fucking worry, you know, but we know, and what gives us boost, us being men of the Lord, and it sounds crazy to people in the world, but what gives us a boost is when we see shit, war happening. Prophecies. You know, when we see earthquakes and shit like that, we get a kick out of that shit. Uh -huh. You know, and it sounds crazy to your average person, but we know that, like how I said, you know, you know the income basically when earthquakes, Romans of wars, and things of that nature, when those start to come, then you know that the end is coming. Then you know that the end is here. You know, so when the famine of the world comes, we know, okay, okay, cool. You know what I mean? When the famine of the world comes, okay, we know. You know, you know what's coming next. You know, uh, uh, concentration camps, uh, uh, the chip, well, the chip concentration camps. You know, the famine, the food famine. You know, martial law after the food famine. You know, so we we know, we know that it's like a domino effect. You know, you press one domino over, the rest of them are gonna trickle down all the way into us being in the kingdom again, all to us uh, getting that power again. I don't think so. Uh, the brother had mentioned that when you when you see the, these prophecies coming to pass, that you know the heavenly Father is visiting the earth. Uh, this is Second Ezra nine and one, and he answered me then and said, "Measure thou the times diligently in itself." Uh, when you're measuring the times, it's talking about the prophecies of the the scriptures, and that's what the brother's going into. He said, "When you see earthquakes, fires, wars, and rumors of wars, pestilence, these are all things that the scripture talks about before Yahweh Shai." Um, visits the earth or is visiting the earth these are signs that he is visiting the earth selected it says um back in verse one it says uh and he answered me then and said measure thou the times diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which i have told thee before thou shalt uh then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made and that's, that's exactly what the brother's talking about, these uh, prophecies that are coming to pass. Right. Go ahead, brother. Right, man. If you want to go to... Uh, this, I got it. That's second Ezra. Uh, this is second Ezra um, 15 and 5. Yeah. It says, Behold, uh, behold, saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. It says, the sword, you had a uh, precept for that in Jeremiah, right? Uh, for verse 6 I think I, I have the plagues right here too okay, one second. it says run it back for me uh, it says behold uh, verse 5 uh, Second Ezra 15 and 5 it says I'm going to start at 4 it says for all the unfaithful shall the die in their unfaithfulness behold right. saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. I will bring plagues upon the world the sword, famine, death and destruction right the sword Famine, death, and destruction. It doesn't. No, that don't sound like a pleasant time. You know what I mean? It don't sound like a a, lo, a lollipop or rainbow <laughs> session. Do it. It don't. You know, a lot of judgment has to, has to take place. Why do you think that brothers are getting their shit together now, man? You know what I mean? Why do you think we we don't go and get lineups? Why do you think you know we watch who we keep company around? You know why do you think we watch what we eat? Why do you think we we watch and we make sure do do that do that woman got a man? before we pop why do you think we do the things that we do it's to get ourselves ready 
for what's the, so we can have some type of uh, uh, protection when that time come. If you know you've been bullshitting around and you know you've been going off on this side why why you yet had liberty, which scripts are going at going to that too, you're gonna know, okay, well you can't really expect no faith. You can't really I mean it's like you can't really uh expect no uh no salvation because you didn't do anything you didn't do anything to uh to earn that. You know, on this side. You didn't you didn't you know you just spend the Lord's money if he gave you you know uh and you know if he gave if you if you know you're an Israelite and you did you teach you know on you only teach on social media, you don't go out to the highways and byways, you don't make videos or nothing like that, your reward is not gonna be great, you know. Kansalakia, if I might add, uh the most there's a parable where the most high gives you talents. You don't wanna be the Jake that hides his talent in a napkin. Right. Uh and you just being a keyboard warrior and not going out to the highways and hedges. Uh, that's you, really, that's you hiding your, your talent in a napkin. Or a fetal position, as you like, man. Huh? I seen that shit firsthand, you know? I seen that shit, you know, so-called niggas in the world, you know what I mean? Like, I had a roommate and shit, you know what I mean? And he knew about it or whatever, and this nigga, this nigga be in a room, laying down on his pillow, watching videos, but then to go out, roll a blunt and smoke it, you know what I mean? Or, or hide his... Whatever the Lord might have given him as far as the talent, as the Lord gave him the talent, he'll hide it in a napkin and not use it. You know what I mean? I've seen that. You know? Uh, I got a precept to go with um, 2 Ezra 15 and 5. These are, these are uh, it's about the plagues right here. This is six, 2 Ezra 16 and 14. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not, and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. And those plagues that are sent uh, back here in verse 5, it says, Behold, um, saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Those are those plagues that are sent upon the, the, the world. Uh, back, and this is verse 6 right here. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hateful works are fulfilled. Keep going, bro. Uh, keep going. I got a precept right here in Isaiah. Um, this is Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth is also defiled underneath the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, have the, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. Woo. And it's going to be a... It's gonna be a uh... A big ass burning here coming soon. Huh? You know what I mean, especially from like in Jeremiah fifty, it tell you that the other nations, even the Obadiah one and mm -hmm. ten, it tell you the other nations are gonna turn on America, man. You know what I mean? As far as turning their back on America and and, and that ultimate plague is that fire. You know, and we're telling you, okay, yeah, you know war is coming, but uh, nukes are getting ready to be shot on the place that you dwell, right? And I'm telling, and we're telling you, okay, well, listen, it's a way out. If the Lord is dealing with you, it's a way out. Okay, how? What is that way out? Getting beamed up. What is huh. that? But what, what does it start with, though? It starts with, hey, okay, cool. This is the shit that I need to stop doing. Mm -hmm. These are the things that I'm doing. These are the things I'm doing. These are the things I need to stop doing. These are the things that I need to be doing. Huh. You know what I mean? To 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 expect or to hope, to have hope to get salvation, man. If you ain't out here risking your life, you know we risk our freedoms, freedom in our life every weekend when we teach, man. You know, that's showing faith, you know? That's showing faith to have some type of mercy. We don't, I mean, we don't do this shit, you know, we don't, not shit, but we don't do this, you know I mean? We don't, we don't do this, we don't do it for vainglory. We don't, you know, we do it to, to hope to have some type of salvation, man. You want to keep going, bro? Yeah, kind. Uh, back in verse, uh, chapter 15 and verse 7. Therefore, saith Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. Who's that innocent and righteous blood? That's the elect. The elect is, is, is crying. Honestly, don't we, don't we, we complain uh, continually. We complain all day. You know, we pray, you know, pray without ceasing, but you complain about the place that you're in all day. Why? Because you worry about the shit that's going on. You don't know what, if you got children, you don't know what's, what, what's going on with your children. 
If you got a woman, you don't know what's going on with your woman. If you got finances and it's low, you don't know how you're going to, you know, so you ultimately you have to rely on faith to get you through your situations. It says the going, the, uh, the, the ways of the going of a man is the Lord's basically the Lord's the steps of the man are guided by the heavenly father. Yeah, he directs your paths, yeah, man. I got a piece of, uh, yeah. Salakia, this is just to, to add on to what the brother said a second ago. He said, um, that the heavenly father basically tells you what you need to stop doing and tells you what you need to do. Um, and the brother was talking about, uh, life and death. This is, uh, second Ezra seven and. Um, I'm going to start at 20 and the, the point is in 21. It says, for there be many that perish in this life because they have despised the law of Yahweh that is set before them. For Yahweh have given them straight commandment to such as came what they should do to live even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Right. Even Yahweh Shai said in one example in the script, I think it's, I don't know what book is in this Things in Matthew, it said, uh, it said, uh, go, go thy way and sin no more. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And, or, or, and no evils shall come on to you. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So like at Moses too, he said, uh, I have set before you life and death. Right. Oh, and life is what? Life is the law, statutes, and yeah. commandments. It brings you life. And literally it, it do. It's, uh -huh. you know, if you think about it, okay, cool. Don't eat this certain, mm -hmm. don't eat pork. Don't eat crab. Don't eat shrimp. Don't eat lobster and shit like that. Because they all have a bad effect on the body. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how you know the most high is real. That's how you know the law is perfect. Don't eat pig because it's a fucking walking garbage disposal. Yeah, that motherfucker, will, yeah, it will eat oh, anything. It, it Now, the pig is not wicked. You know what I mean? It's just wicked for you to eat that shit. It has mm -hmm. a purpose. Yeah. You know, it has it's a purpose. It's a garbage disposal of the earth. Bro. Right. Just like oysters and shit like that. It's not, they're not wicked animals it, huh. it, it's just you can't that you can't that certain shit shouldn't be in your body because a like the brother said it's a bottom feeder and b um b they're used like to clean a seat mm -hmm. you know the pig is used to clean a farm if you have a farm and shit like that and they'll literally eat anything why would you eat a shrimp you know they they clean don't they clean the shit yeah in they, the ocean the, the all the bottom feeders do yeah, they, oysters shrimp yeah. why crab, would you want lobsters to, they and, all eat the the feces of the other fish and then when you go and eat that fish, you're eating the feces of the fish. Right. And then how you know America's backwards is because that's the most highest priced shit that yeah. you can get. A lot, a they lot. call it a delicacy. It's a lot cute. <laughs> <laughs> they call it a delicacy here. Hey, uh, 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 shrimp, uh, crab, and lobster and shit, that's expensive. That's, mm -hmm. you know, to American uh, people, that's good eating. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But when you in the know, when you in the troop, you know that's some bullshit. You don't put that shit in your body, man. <laughs> <clears throat> so like it. Uh back in first verse um so, not yeah it was it was eight. Uh, it says I will hold my tongue no more uh as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise uh themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Mm -hmm. Um, the innocent and righteous blood crieth um unto me. That's the that's Jake. That's Jake that has passed away. And like uh, when you read about Cain and Abel, it talks about Abel's blood uh, crying unto the heavenly Father. It says uh, verse nine. It says, and therefore saith Yahweh by Shimei of Shai, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But, and this is talking about modern day Egypt, uh, Sodom and Egypt, uh, Babylon, uh, also known America. as America. It says, um, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched, a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And I will destroy all the land thereof. That's talking about America, USA. You want me to keep going on? Come. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and the punishment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai shall bring upon it. Right. And, and, and you know, the Mosai said he's going to plague Egypt again. Uh -huh. You know, when you go up again, you know. 
being Egypt being America, you know, as before. Because if you look at old Egypt, you had those plagues that were set upon and old there's Egypt. Nothing nice is going to be amplified this time. Yeah, because this America. place is way more wicked than any ancient. Now I don't know about all the ancient captivities we was in, mm -hmm. but this place, America, is 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 you can put a vagina on a man, man. You know what I mean? Like that's how low it is right now. Hey, and the scriptures talk about um, a man that cut off his privy part cannot enter into the kingdom of the heavenly Father. And not only that, not only that, but you don't know. Like, women here are fucked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like this place is like the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the bottom 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 bottom, and that's why we we are where we so amped to get the fuck out of here, man. Yeah. You know, like, we ain't just out there for no reason. We don't do these videos for no reason. We don't preach for no reason. We don't take away time out of our lives for no fucking reason. Time. Our main objective is to, to seal the elect so we can get the fuck out of here, man. You know, that's why we get happy when shit happens to America. Time. That's why we get happy when, okay, America couldn't go to war. Okay, Iran and America at it. Okay, Russia and America at it. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. What's next? Come on. Hit me with the next. Come, you know. These are prophecies coming to pass right before your eyes. This is a beautiful time you're living in. This is the fall of your enemy's kingdom, the so-called white man, and the upliftment of your people, Yahshua Raga. Uh, there's, there's a scripture where it says, um, there's, there's what is it, three things I love. Uh, a man to see his kids grow up and the downfall of his enemy. Mm. A man that lived to see the downfall, downfall of, of his, his enemy. enemy. Right, right, because it's, uh, that's, you know, like Tupac said, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, uh, revenge is, the, what do you say? Next is the greatest joy. Yeah, yeah next to getting coochie. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> real, man. You know what I mean? So, and who's our enemy? These Esau, heathen nations. Yeah. He he saw being the top one. Yeah, you know, yeah. all the way down, man. To you fucking, you know, Moab, Moab and Ammon and, and all that all shit, that shit Canaanites and all that shit, man. You know, y'all got it coming, man. Isaiah sixty goes into y'all building up our our kingdom too. Time. So don't forget that. You know what I mean? Because right now you 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 look down upon Jake. Mm -hmm. You know, you Arabs, you Ishmaelites. Uh, uh, um, uh, you fucking, uh, 